so we're here at another place in Florida that's awesome to come and visit. It's free. And so if you're here, check it out. So if you want to come and do these tours, it's free. Um, it's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And they have different tours you can take. There's the free complimentary one. There's one that's like $10. There's one that's $30, which gives you more access, more places to go. And they have also another one that's like the brewmaster class. So you go through um, basically what the brewmasters go through as far as tasting different beers. So today I'm going to do the free one since we love finding free stuff to do on this channel. So here we go. Let's see. Of course, it wouldn't be Budweiser without, obviously, the Clydesdale. This one is named Larry. Say hi, Larry. Okay, he's not really talkative, but of course. So they start the tour off by giving you a free beer. Pretty cool. As you can see, this is the self-guided tour, so I'm going to be doing all the talking. Here's all the beers they have. Shark Cop is pretty good. Land Shark. So as you can see, I am in the brewing process room, and as soon as you walk into this room, uh, you can feel the heat. It is really, really hot in here. Really, really hot. Um, there's no air conditioning. It is like a dry heat almost. Almost like you would feel in the desert. So they got some barley. But you can definitely smell like the beer. You can smell the hops or whatever it may be that the barley, you can smell it in this room. But keep in mind, it's really hot in this room, so I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. So what's cool is I am the only one on this tour right now. It's a self-guided tour, but there's no one here. It's just me kind of doing my own personal tour. So that's kind of cool that you get to do that. It's free, so why not? There's all the uh, Anheuser uh, Bush people. Right now it's really, really cold. If you put your hands up to the glass, you can feel the coldness of it. So he has the luckiest job in the world. He gets to uh, try out every single beer and, you know, judge it. And that's how they know if a beer works or does it need more hops, more stuff added to it. So, there you go. Used to be called uh, malt barley malt syrup. It's kind of crazy, so a little bit of history for you there that they called it 
mar barley uh, malt syrup instead of beer. Uh, funny. So these are some of the different, um, you know, different packaging and different uh, stuff that they sold basically. As you can see, they sold this. They sold a ginger ale, or whatever that is. So it's a lot more stuff than just uh, the malt syrup. This is the beechwood aging process, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see inside of there. Can you see that? Those are all containers uh, of beer. And these are some of the advertisements that uh, Budweiser did all throughout the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. I think this one holds a special truce uh, today. I don't know what to say about this one. It was in the 70s. It's so this is the 80s. This is the 90s. Tell me if you remember this commercial. If you remember this one, this Bud's for you. Bud Wise Err. Bud Wise Err. This is the 2000, yeah, 2000s where they obviously cared about uh, drunk driving. There's a commercial, I think with Cedric the Entertainer, that was a commercial. And then you have uh, in 2010, as you can see the difference in the uh, posters. The armed forces are supported more. It's more colorful, more about what the beer is uh, up front. So the last leg of the tour is that you get to go into the tap room and get uh, two beers of your choice. And they also have snacks and soda fountain that you can drink if you're underage. But it's really cool that they give you two free sample beers. So I'm going to go in the tap room and see what's available. So this is new. They used to didn't serve food like this. They used to just have like, uh, like you know, free snacks. So I'm not sure if that's changed or if the free snacks are still here. but. Now they have actual food that you can purchase, so I guess you can stay here longer. It's kind of a smart move, but there you go. So does a dollar. They used to have the fountain machine right over in this location. They used to have a free fountain machine, so I'm not sure if that's changed. So right here you have all your different uh, drinks that you can choose from to try. All your different sodas. Uh, man. I don't know what to pick, what looks good, what looks good to you, what would you choose if you were here? Summer Ale looks pretty good, I might choose that one. I got a Blue Point uh, toasted lager. I've never heard of Blue Point really, so this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how it tastes. Not too bad. But I did notice is that you used to be able to get two free samples when you come up here and uh, some pretzel snacks. Maybe people were abusing that, so they start charging for beer and sodas. 
kind of a knockdown in my book for Budweiser, and this was like uh, four something, like four fifty, I think. Yeah, it was like four dollars for this. Make sure to get the free beer at the start of the tour. Not bad. I'm gonna finish this beer. Normally, this is where they do all the bottle distribution. And you would see a bunch of the bottles kind of going through all of this, but I guess they're done for the day or they're not working on this side, but it would have been cool for you to see all the bottles go through, but they're not doing it. Sort of looks like Space Mountain, if you've ever seen it with the lights on, it's kind of creepy. So you can pick up beer on your way home, which is something new because they never sold you beer. But you can pick up beer right here. It's probably more expensive than what it normally would be. That's pretty cheap. It's $2.95 for a six pack. This stuff is really good. So to have everything that you ever want, as far as beer stuff, beer signs, beer shirts, everything, glasses, everything. You're in luck because there's all the beer that I was talking about earlier. Looks like a bunch of ants, almost. And it's just going all the way through, all the way over there, the thing but beer, look at this. All beer. Air belt of beer. I don't know if you can see all the way over there, there's beer. So all of that follows all the way through, all the way to this. all the way back there so beer also to note i did drink that beer down pretty quick it's called the blue point toasted lager it was okay um it went down kind of smooth would i drink it again mm, not really but you never know until you try any kind of beers so there we have a beachwood chipper uh torpedo as you can see, I think inside, it has your wood chips. I don't know if you can hear me because it's really loud in here. Why it's loud is because this is the factory. So as you can see right, right over there, that's um, all the beers being packaged up and ready to go out to stores. So as you can see, those are the uh, Budweiser beers that are going in that formation and to be boxed up up here. And those are the same beers that you saw earlier in that long line of uh, assembly. So as you can see, these are all beers in these containers. They're waiting to be, uh, I guess, uh, taken out. There, it goes for miles, 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 miles. How far back it goes. Try to count all of these containers if you could. Just to pull back, just for you to see how far it goes. Crazy. Then 
you have the tank preparation, you have the beechwood chips, and then you have the larger tanks. And then there you go, there's the last thing. It goes into the bottles. So that's it on the tour. Um, like I said, a couple points is that I'm kind of a bit disappointed in Budweiser for doing that. Uh, it used to be two free samples, uh, free pretzel snacks, free soda drink, and now they charge for everything. Um, the only time you get a free sample is at the start of the tour, so make sure to get, if you do this tour, make sure to get that free sample. Um, that's all you really get. The lady said that you get two free samples, but I'm not sure. I only got one, so take it how you want it. That was it for this video. Uh, leave it down in the comment section. Did you enjoy this video? What is your favorite? Oh, it's too bright. There we go. Too bright. So that's it for this video. Leave it down in the comment section. Did you enjoy this type of video? What are your favorite beers to drink if you do drink beer at all? Uh, that's it for now. Make sure to hit a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more content on the way. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, peace. So these are the different beers, uh, beer tours I was telling you about. So you have the Brewmaster Tour, cost $30. Um, seems like it'd be worth it. You have Beer School, and you have the Free Tour, which is what I did today. And you have the Guided Tour, which they used to kind of be free, but now it's cost $10 for that tour. So. So if you want to come for the tours, there's your info.